I should have came by myself. I come down here to support my husband. You see, he support me. Wait, come on here. Have an attitude. You see my whole family. I didn't have everybody crying. Oh, so that's your family? No, that's her family. That's not your family. That's why I should came by myself. I don't see. I came down here to support you. That's all I was trying to do. You're to put a plug on. I'm not gonna put a plug. How are you needing to pull a plug? Y'all not even married. What are you talking about? Are y'all married? So what? What's going on? Okay, what about myself? What about Cameron? What about Cameron then? Cameron is I'm gonna not, be well, fine. Give up on I'm his mother. Give up on his mother? She, if she, what kind of quality she, of life is she nah, gonna nah, actually nah, have? Nah, see, nah, man. What kind of quality of life is she gonna have? See, I can't even take you serious right now. No, you I can't take you serious. He, he I want you to me. tell me the truth. I want you to tell me the truth. What's really going on between y'all? See, tell me the truth. I am genuinely concerned for all the women in the comments telling her that she's in the right to have been there, to be asking him these questions, when the mother of his child is dying. Dying. This isn't just like some ex-girlfriend or like, th this is the mother of his child. And she's there asking him a million and one questions about infidelity? Lady, you're that insecure? I think it's really important to highlight the women that exude these extremely jealous and possessive traits in relationships because previously, we've only seen them highlighted in men. Reality is women can be just as crazy and just as insufferable. And we need to start acknowledging this. That woman deserves no happiness, no nothing for the rest of her life. No dick. Thank you.